Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be daily tarot reading general one for the collective <clears throat> June 13, 2018. Four cards spread, the first card is showing up the topic of the day over here. The second card does express is a <clears throat> the negative approach or in other words how we are gonna how we we are going to ruin our day um, in case we go for or what we should not do during that particular day. The third card does expresses up the positive approach toward the situation or how we can capitalize on the positivity of that particular day. And uh, then the last card here does expresses up the benefits we are going to reap in the long run in case we do keep these couple of conditions here of uh, those couple of cards. So let's go for the topic of the day that will be the king of cups so that could be a person that we need to tackle with this particular day now in case that is a, a person or as a matter of fact this is going to be a person that we have to deal with during this day there is a reason why the card comes up as a core card and uh, this person is very likely to make us a, a very tempting offer that is very um, <clears throat> characteristics for the king of cups and why because the king of cups does not approach those that he does not like to or the those that he can't make any connection with either on emotional or a professional level now you need to know that the king of cups is a very specific card because these people they are usually um, artists in the sense of that they know how to um, how to embark emotional um, emotional stir into one and they know how to uh, how to treat people around them that being said during that particular day uh, <clears throat> 13th of june we will have to deal with a certain person that may not be a man all right that could be as well a woman but the but the bottom line of that is that if we are approached from that from this uh, from this person we will be approached by somebody that means that they really accept us as uh, the very least a, a good people and a good friends but also as it is a cup cups card it could mean also a romantic interest from somebody all right so that being said this day we have to be open uh, for interactions with a certain person or in general with people and in case we are searching for love this card points that we need to show that we are ready to receive it because the king of cups does not show their their emotions unless they don't see that there will be a a, a backfiring or in other words the other will answer to their opening and then we do have the cards how we should not treat the, uh, the situation moving on forward and that is the Hierophant card. And the Hierophant card here comes <clears throat> by uh, the warning that uh, when this person uncovers uh, to us instead of constantly talking over the situation and asking explanations why, for example, why you have waited so long or you know why now uh, without instead of asking the question why this card says that we have to capitalize on that particular opportunity especially if this is a um, <clears throat> attempting offer all right so a thorough research oh while it is good maybe there is a, a very small window of, of um of timing here to take that opportunity probably because this person is squeezed by time and they will propose it into someone else so in case that is um, that is true for some of us uh, we have to be swift with our decision the hierophant it is about going by uh, the code of conduit or in other words we should not go by the code of conduit by the known code of conduit um, like um, um, a, a long-term dating for example you know and, and first going into dinner with a romantic interest before actually you start um, opening yourself emotionally that day the uh the second step into one unfoldment should take a, a first step into it all right so you have to be one step ahead of the process because uh, the first step probably have been uh, made somewhere in the past and we have left unaware of it then the next card shows the best possible approach to the situation. We do have the temperance card and the temperance card is about combining the opposites. All right. So it's very likely that this is going to be very uncomfortable for us, you know, but when we are approached by that person and we may feel even awkward 
by that approach <clears throat> and uh, you know the offer given to us but the also the temperance points that this awkwardness we're going to experience is going to be also thrilling so whatever awkward awkwardness which is thrilling that you are experiencing this is the exact moment you have to act upon the temperance is about as I said combining the differences which means that this time you got to make something different and uh, that is also, as I said, I said the same thing without even seeing the card here with the, the Hierophant. Usually if the spread goes very well, this card is just a confirmation of that one, alright? So it's kind of like you need you to check out is what the, the, the uh, negative card saying that you should not do is correct. And we have our confirmation here with the, uh, with the temperance. Very important here is also not to, uh, not to be biased by, uh, by any events. <clears throat> Uh, in, in a sense of that, uh, how can I place it? Do not expect that this person is going to act in a certain way uh, regarding your personal co code of conduit and expectations, you know. You have to, uh, how can I place it? You need to realize that people are different and it is, this is a phrase I really like to say and I really go by it, is that uh, in real relationships, in partnerships, friendships or whatever, the differences, it is what makes us special to one another and that's why you have to be prone more to the differences that you do have and you need to accept the situation that you do actually this time around have someone around you that you can learn from and in the same time you can propose something for them to learn from all right and become better together rather than to have a mirror to yourself and just amplify your current positivities but also negativities and uh, what will be the results of all that in the long run here with the second card with the fourth card we do have the um king of swords and the very least with with uh, this card guys this isn't a uh, this isn't a person that is more like a um a property of the relationship in between you and that guy and this looks like a, a very good partnership unfortunately I cannot say that the emotional connection will go on for a, a very long time but also with the king of swords it's more like a, 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 a physical connection that being said probably you are going to continue on keeping connection with one another phone calls text messages hanging out you know going out on a pub this is a, a fantastic friendship that you can do that you can create during that particular day. In case we're talking about a, a love relationship, you know, the King of Swords is not a, a very bad card. It does says that the relationship is moving on forward into the future. is not going to be very prone uh, entirely upon emotions, which is actually very good because that because um, that deprives uh, one relationship from scandals. It deprives it from jealousy, you know, uh, from um, biased presumptions as well in another words it is less likely that one will feel despondent when they cannot predict what their partner is doing uh, for example when they say that they will work late at night but in the same time the king of swords that says that there will be a huge physical attraction which means that you and that person will like each other very well physically so uh pretty much uh, it does look like that we it is time to connect during that particular day uh first on emo on emotional level which is going to be a prerequisite to make a, a much stronger bo bond and these stronger bonds will be far beyond the emotional connection where we probably were going to feel very secure with the emotional connection anymore that being said we are not going to be as i said despondent when we cannot presume what the that person is going to do next. So that was the daily tarot reading for June 13, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, check out my website written down there in the description of, the, of this video. And if you do have any questions, feel free to contact me via the contact form in the website. So see you around and until then, bye.